Ladies and gentlemen, how are we doing today? This is your boy Ursula Fatty, and today on Fatty in the Streets, we are at uh, the Bangor Comic Con, and thought we'd start out with this handsome lad right here. This giant ass statue of, uh, is that supposed to be Paul Bunyan? It's either Paul Bunyan or it's Al Pacino. Either way, they do have a sign that says, please do not climb on the statue. Which means one of two things. Someone has climbed on said statue, fallen off and gotten hurt, or they were doing something inappropriate to the statue that caused the state to say, please no climb on statue. Which is sad, because I kind of wanted to climb him. I wanted to feel those biceps. Maybe give his beard a trim. Give his axe a shining, maybe? What do you guys think? Either way, we're about to head inside. It's chilly as hell, windy as fuck, there's a lot of cars out. And I look like a drunkenly put together Jedi from the Rebellion. And we're gonna we're gonna go in and we're gonna see what happens, so. Let's see. Wish me luck. I don't know what you're talking about. We're live, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Down there, bro. Wind's blowing my armor up. Not even yet, it's already losing his pants. What the fuck? Yeah, that's what I thought. 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 Yeah, that's what Impressive in size for being a small town Comic Con, but uh, I can already see we got a lightsaber table down there. Uh, we got, let's see, some art, jewelry, you might have one of those. We got someone selling squish mellows. I didn't know those were nerdy things. Uh, I mean, there's just a lot down there. We're just going to have to go down, walk around, take a look. Uh, Hopefully, someone down there may or may not want to have a lightsaber duel. If not, uh, then I guess these are more nerdy losers than I thought. So, without further ado, has to head down and uh, browse the wares. Hello there, R2. <laughs> it's good to see you're alive. How would you like to be interviewed for a show? What do you say? All right, everybody. We are out here in the Bangor, Maine Comic Con, and today we got lucky enough to meet a living legend themselves, R2D2. Wow, it's very nice to meet you, R2. How far did you have to travel, buddy, to get here? That's long distance, my friend. That's quite a few light years. So, uh, what brings you out here, Benny? Uh, I don't know if we could. I don't know if we could air that one. That was a pretty uh, raunchy. There seems like you've gotten uh, a little bit more like Chopper in your age, huh? Well, look, I'm just happy to see that you're out here doing good and having a good time, my man. It's nice to see that all those memories still stick with you to date. Yeah. Well, look, man, we got to keep going out on the floor to check out more. Maybe we'll stop by and see you again. And if we don't, may the force be with you. R2-D2, ladies and gentlemen. Really? Yeah, we're very excited. So you guys just like a new company, or you guys been around for a while? Uh, we're going into year four. Really? Yeah. I've actually, I've, I haven't heard of your brand before. We got business cards. We got business stickers. Well, heck yeah. 
See, I do uh, I do YouTube content on Live with Lightsabers things like that. I got half a million followers. And, What's uh, up, bro? I, I, I had to come by and see this for a second. Yeah, dude, I, I, not, I don't think I've seen your guys' brand just yet. That's cool. Ooh, that's you! Oh, and he's heavy. The uh, TikTok guy. No. So I think if I went and got a turtle, I think I'd have to get the candy corn one. Yeah. Part of me, part of me says swing and grab it. Part of me says swing and grab it. There's a candy corn turtle over there. I love candy corn. I love turtles. I don't know, Blaze. I need my, I need my professional second opinion here. Do I get the candy corn turtle? Walk around first. All right, we'll walk around first. Yeah, I gotta find some cards. A lot of okay. magic cards here. I wonder if they got Digimon here too. They got Pokemon. Andy. Chris, behind you. Oh, hey, hello there. <laughs> you know, you're supposed to do General Kenobi, but uh, it does appear he seems to be mute. <laughs> He's got piercing blue eyes. Anyone ever tell you they're like the ocean? <laughs> Impressive. Does that, uh, does that please the missus at night? Should be pretty long. After all, don't they say the average man's about three to five? How are you doing today, my man? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing good. So what do you got here? I got 3D puzzle boxes that I sell from all the craft fairs. Yeah. In my second time at the Comic Con. I really, really? enjoy being here. So you know. How difficult are your boxes? They're not very difficult at all, I'll show you. One more? Yep. This could be fun. There's only about three steps. Ooh. Hey, yo, I might have to swing back by and get one of these for my new shade. Thank you. Oh, man, so do you make these all on your own or like uh, do you have a wife with you? CNC. Huh? CNC machine. CNC machine? All computerized. Well, hey, it all looks beautiful, my man. It looks beautiful. So, uh, what got you into this kind of thing? Oh, I met a guy that was, uh, had a very few of them in Florida, and uh, I bought them, and uh, then I looked them up and started on my own. I sold a lot of them in Florida. Not bad, not bad. I gave that up. Hey, it's not bad, though. So you came and settled out here in Maine, decided, hey, I'm going to sell my stuff out here? That's right. I, I like the comic con. That's the second time here. Heck yeah, heck yeah, it's definitely got a very welcoming atmosphere to it. Oh yeah, those packs are really old. Robert, remember that one dude in school who had the Pikachu NES, or the Nintendo 64? Yeah, guy was a real prick about it, wasn't he? Oh yeah, he bragged about it I don't know how many times. You know what though? Annoyed me nice. to no end. Oh yeah, burn art, the little sports arts. Those are actually pretty cool. Oh look! They've got one of Lord Vader! See? This is this is the photo they took way back when I graduated. Before the fall of the Empire and then my subsequent finding out of the force. That's me right there. I was right next to Vader. It's kinda sad to see where he's gone. From Emperor to burnt, crispy body floating in the middle of space. Poor guy. If only he knew the old saying that Piccolo used to say. Dodge! Oh, more cards, more cards! You know, it's one thing I haven't seen just yet. Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Chris. Chris, come here. Yeah? <laughs> you know? to pick these gold bills up. What you got there? They are golden Star Wars Hold on, bills. There's one of Hold Luke. On, show me again. There's one of Luke and one of Boba Fett. That's pretty cool. 
And they're ten apiece? Yeah, ten apiece. They're pretty good. I'm Chris. Nice wow. to meet you. My name's Chris as well. Is it? Nice to meet you, Chris. Chris. Nice to meet you. Yes. Man, I had to drop by here for a moment. That's, yeah. This is a legendary <laughs> moment for me. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> no Thanks. joke, no joke. Now, um, now, uh, now, tell me about your armor. Uh, well, the character's backstory is I was ex clone trooper. Yeah. I'm not a clone, a storm trooper. Yeah. Uh, after the Empire fell, I kind of uh, hobbled together my suit and eventually found that I had the force. And though I'm not, you know, Luke Skywalker pushing right. stuff, yeah. I've got intuition, I've got the ability to kind of plan things on the fly. Yeah. So now it's just like I fixed up a lightsaber, nice. and now I'm out surviving. And then, of course, I got my buddy here <laughs> who does the same kind of thing. No, wow. we actually, we actually, uh... But when I got the proper <laughs> outfit, he doesn't. Oh, I see. <laughs> That's what you say, proper, but hey, I'm going to Yeah, right. Yeah. But I straight up... Oh, great. I love that you came, Chris. Would you mind if we interviewed you? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first time for us here on Fatty on the Streets. And something that's going to be a legendary moment, some Star Wars history right here. We got our buddy here, Chris Barlett, right here. How are we doing today? Great, Chris. Good to see you. Heck yes. What brings you out here to Bangor besides just the show? It's got to be something. Uh, it's the show. Yes. And also to meet all the fans, people in costume. Uh, it's my first time in Maine, so I'm really excited to be here. You enjoying yourself so far? Oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to some uh, lobster tonight, I think. Oh, yeah. That's going to be good. That's yeah. going to be good. Yeah. So, uh, being that you are from Star Wars, that's yeah. always some, one of the legends there. What was it like during filming? Like, was there any uh, any concerns you had as an actor? Were there any scenes that you weren't real with, or were you all for it? Oh well, I've been a fan since I was a kid. You know, I uh, grew up in in the '70s, so I was I was um, always uh, you know I had the action figures and, and telling the tell playing the stories out in the streets with my kid with my friends and. Um, so I, I play mostly uh, droids on the on the shows, and uh, you know it's a it's a ton of fun. I I have uh, worked on my you know I, I got started actually building costumes as a kid and as an adult, um, and that's that's how I got started in acting. And uh, but it's a it's you know, I'm just having the time of my life. It's really fun. Heck yeah, that's kind of why I do why I do what I do. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of it's just enjoying it. And the best part is, even though you're just like the droids, the background, things like that, understand that you are still as big of a part of this universe oh. as anyone else, man. Oh. oh, well, thanks. Well, my characters are typically uh, featured characters or main characters. Um, you know, this, this is, uh, uh, you can see some of the pictures here. But, um, but yeah, no, it's, uh, you know, every character is its own character. And uh, so I give personality to every one of them and, and how they fit into the scene, how they fit into the story. Uh, I, I get to come up with voices and, and things like that too, so, yeah. Well, heck yeah, I just gotta say on behalf of a lot of young men and women out there who grew up watching Star Wars, I was born in 97, so I didn't see the original when they released, but uh, thank you for helping make a, a galaxy that inspires a lot of young people up to date even, and possibly even for an infinite amount of time in the future. Wow, well, you know, if 3 were here, he might say, oh, my goodness, why hello, Sir Christopher, I am c 3 human cyborg relations. I never doubted you for a second. Oh, wonderful. Oh my god, that that gave me chills, <laughs> my man. Well, hey, right. we'll let you go ahead and have a good time and relax. Thanks. And Great, Thank Chris. you for giving us your time, it's man. It's a pleasure to meet you. That's legendary, my guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Fatty on the Streets. And today, we found ourselves a little artist here with an entrepreneurship going on. And as you can see, the work is lovely, and we thought we'd drop by and chat with him and interview him. So how are we doing today? I'm doing great, doing great. Every time I come to Maine, it's always a good time. So. Hey, Kiss, so why don't you tell us a little, about, a little bit about yourself, a little about what you do. All right, so my name is Denzel, Denzel Draws, and um, literally I'm based out of Jersey. I'm an artist, full-time, and pretty much what I do, I just draw characters with big heads. <laughs> hey, you know, I like it. I like it. You've got a real style to yourself. It looks all nice and clean. So you do this like by hand or you got like a, a tech that you use? So uh, I do all of these on my iPad, like full time, like literally just like drawing from sun up to sundown. Um, the app that I use is Procreate. Sometimes I use like Photoshop. I dabble like back and forth. But uh, mainly it's Procreate. It's on the iPad. Well, heck yeah, man. You seem to have quite a bit of skills. So you got so many beautiful pieces. Like, I can't lie. I might have to pick some of these up for myself from my home. 
<laughs> Especially that Q bone right there. Look at that. Oh, and the detail in that too, my man. I just gotta say, this is some amazing artwork, and uh, thank you for giving us some time today to chat. Oh, yeah. No problem. No problem. Heck yeah, heck yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Let's keep on going and keep things trucking along. And that it'd be it'd be freaking murder, my man. Murder for yeah. girder. Murder for yeah. girder. What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to Fatty on the Streets. We found another person here to interview and have a good time out here in the Comic-Con. So without further ado, I'm going to give this young lady the mic and let her introduce herself and what she does. Yeah, for sure. Uh, my name is Brenda Hickey, and I am a comic artist from Prince Edward Island, Canada. And I've worked on titles such as My Little Pony, uh, Sanrio, Netflix, Agretzko series, as well as some creator-owned books, Halls of the Turnip King, and um, Butterfly House that I created with my husband, Troy Little, who is also here as a guest oh, who yeah. makes comics as well. Well, heck yeah, heck yeah. So what got you into doing art? Um, I don't remember a time in my life where I wasn't making art. Ever since I was a little kid, I was copying all the things I'd see on my Saturday morning cartoons. And of course, growing up in the golden age of Disney, of the, the 90s, right? The renaissance yeah, of Disney really inspired me to get drawing. And once I found the comics medium, I just was hooked. I fell in love. Yeah, I guess. So how are you enjoying your time out here in Maine? Pretty good. Um, I mean, honestly, I just rolled in a few <laughs> couple hours ago, but um, this is my second time doing the Bangor Comic and Toy Convention, so I was here in 2016 as well, so I'm happy to be back. Well, heck yeah, it's great to have you out here, and I hope that you continue to have a good time. Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks for chatting. Heck yeah, you yeah. have yourself a good one. Yeah, thank you. And ladies and gentlemen, let's keep walking the streets. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we didn't have to walk far to find our next gentleman out here to interview. So, again, we're going to go ahead and let him kind of explain who he is, what he does, and how he enjoys what he does. Hi, my name's Troy Little. I'm a Canadian comic book artist and writer, most recently working on Rick and Morty vs. Dungeons and Dragons with Jim Zub. I've also done work with Kevin Eastman on the radically rearranged Ron and Rag dolls, uh, and Gordon Napkin, Powerpuff Girls, and a whole lot of other comics. Heck yeah, heck yeah. So, uh... I, I, I believe I interviewed your wife a second ago, so I'm going to ask you the same kind of question I asked her. Sure. What got you into art? Looney Tunes, Bugs Bunny. I mean, I was a big Saturday morning cartoons guy. So my, my dad, you know, as a Canadian kid, you know, they want to put you in hockey and things like that. But I wanted to watch Saturday morning cartoons, never mind hockey. And so he knew there was something wrong with me from an early age. And uh, eventually when I told him I wanted to get into the arts and uh, I went to art school, I uh, spent years working in animation up in Canada and then started self-publishing comics and eventually turned that into my, my main career. Heck yeah, well, I, I would say there's nothing wrong with you at all, my man. You've got an amazing mind, and honestly, the artwork is beautiful. Thank you very much. And you have your hands in so many different things that keep inspiring people up to date. And uh, I hope that you continue to do so, my man. Thank you very much. Thank you for giving us some time today. We'll let you do your thing. But uh, seriously, though, congrats on the hard work and keep it up, man. Thank you so much. Heck yeah, heck yeah. What's going on, guys? It's day two of Fatty on the Streets. Big or Comic Con. Let's get it banging. Let's start walking around and well, let's start seeing if we can't get some interviews to go with. Follow me, because everything's alright. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? As stated before, we're here day two at the Bangor Main Comic Con. And well, I had to stop a cosplayer real quick because the costume just looks absolutely brilliant. We got with us today Pyramid Head. Why don't you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about what brings you here? Hi, I'm a Candy Neko on Instagram, and I made and designed the costume all myself in the past few months. This was my big Halloween project. So, and this, I'm entering my first cosplay contest here today, actually. Oh, really? Well, good luck, because yeah. it's an, it, it is an amazing costume. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so you you made you homemade everything. Yeah, I did buy a pattern because. You know. Boy, that's that, <laughs> that's something I think anyone could get behind. Exactly, but I yeah I made it all out of like stuff I had at my house already. So I just swapped over scraps. Like this is a purge flag from last year is the skirt. Well, well, it's resourceful as well. I just had to stop by and take a second to chat with you because this is this is honestly beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. So make sure to check her out over on Instagram and well. 
Hopefully we cross paths again. Yeah, I'm sure we will. I'll be around. <laughs> okay, you have a good day. You too. Ladies and gentlemen, we found another friend here for an interview. I'm gonna pass the mic off to this beautiful man right here. Let him introduce himself oh, and tell man. us a little about himself. Oh, I'm Chris. Uh, this is my first cosplay, um, and I'm having a blast already. And it, it's nice meeting you and your crew. Um, yeah, I'm having a blast. <laughs> okay, that's all. That's always a good thing. And having a blast, you got grenade arms, yes. my man. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're from my hero academia, aren't you? Yep, yep. Uh, I, I used to have anger issues as a kid, so then I could totally relate. <laughs> <laughs> I think me and my crew know someone just like yeah. that too. Well, my man, I just gotta say, it's a great cosplay, especially thank for your you. first time, my man. Thank you. And I hope that you enjoy yourself oh, today. Oh, I will. Thank you. And right, I enjoyed you, have you a good as time, well. Man. Yes, thank you. Hell yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know what I had to do. You couldn't just pass by a saber stand and not drop by and chat with them. And what better place than DX Sabres to drop by? I want to let my man here take over and do some stuff and tell us a little bit about what he does. Thanks so much, Chris. I'm Paul the Dark Jedi, founder and owner of DX Sabres. With me always is my man, Tony, right over there. Say hi, Tony. Awesome. Wouldn't be able to do it without him. We make and bring them the best lightsabers out and about all over the East Coast that you can find. And uh, we just released the Master Sword to show you a little bit of this craft. Yeah, real pretty. Look at that stuff. We've got base lit combat ready lightsabers. We got mystery boxes, NeoPixel, build your own. We got legendary sabers, replicas, little kid ones for days. We got it all, folks. It's awesome. Online at conventions if you can find us, just like Chris did. And uh, yeah, we'd be honored to earn your business. May the force be with you. You know, that's what we do, baby. Heck yeah, may the force be with you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's keep on a walking. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Fatty on the Streets. And we've found someone super interesting to come interview. So I'll let him take over the mic for a second and let us know a little about themselves. Hi, my name is Jaden. I go by Mama Weed Queen on most socials. Um, I'm a stay-at-home mom. I'm a full-time artist. Really? Where can we find your artwork? Um, you can find my artwork on Instagram and on Twitter. Oh, well, we might have to grab that for her before we go. Give it a check out because I love the costume. Thank you. Did you build it? No, I did not. My costume was made by Monster Cool Makers. Really? It seems like they put a lot of love and work into it. They definitely did. So is this like your own character or is it just what you put together? Yes, this is my own character. Uh, this, this side is duality. The other side is Koji. Okay, I like that idea where it's kind of like that um, dual essence kind of thing. Yeah. That's awesome, that's awesome. Well, you got anything you'd like to say to the viewers back at home? Uh, I could do a cool trick. You want to see it? Sure, let's see it. <laughs> oh, man, I love it, I love it. And so, does it get too hot in there? You got like a fan installed in the head. I don't have a fan, sadly, but I am, it's very hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Hopefully, you continue to have fun, and hopefully, things get a little cooler for you. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, you have a good one. You too. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good day out here in Bangor, Maine. All right, all right, all right. Just like last time, we found someone super cool. We got to stop by and have a chat. I'm going to go ahead and hand the mic to them and let them uh, let us know about themselves and a little about their costume. Hi there. My name is Phil and like Jello Cosplay. Um, I am cosplaying The Shade from The Evil Within 2. Um, it took me about three months to get this cosplay done. It was a bit of a rush job for a separate con that I was going to, but with it being a hometown con, I thought I debuted it, because I was really proud of it, even though it's a rush job. Well, even though it's a rush job, it looks absolutely amazing. Yeah, um, I've been wanting to do horror cosplays for a long time now, and I finally am so glad that I get to do this, because it's been a dream to do like horror cons and horror cons. <laughs> Do you got anywhere anyone can look up your other cosplays as well? Um, I would say maybe like a pyramid head one. That would be cool. Sorry, it's a little hard to hear through no, you're the mess. You're good. But uh, you don't got like an Instagram people could check out? Oh yeah, uh, it's feeling like Jello underscore cosplay. 
Heck yeah, I'll have to give it a check out because this is honestly pretty cool. I'm interested to see what else you do. Thank you. Well, I hope you have a good time here at the con and well, enjoy yourself. Thank you so much. Hell yeah, hell yeah, guys. It's another good day. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's back here with Fatty on the streets, and today we got lucky. We found ourselves Sith Lord Kylo Ren, a stormtrooper, and a tie trooper. And well, our little stormtrooper buddy here is going to tell us a little about himself and, well, what he likes to do best here. Yeah, hey, uh, this is TK71319 of the New England Garrison, and uh, when I'm not missing every shot I take at the Jedi, um, in my free time I like to play space golf and uh, watch space football. Heck yeah, heck yeah, man. So where can someone get a sleek set of armor like that? Um, it's available to anybody that wants to uh, buy a kit and uh, spend a couple of months uh, putting it together. So uh, this this took me three, three and a half months to, to build. Heck yeah, and I can tell you put a lot of love into it, my man. It looks great. I appreciate that. Heck yeah, heck yeah. So you guys uh, got an Instagram people could check out? Maybe you guys got other cosplays people want to see? Uh, yeah, you can uh, go to 501st.com and uh, New England 501st as well for the New England garrison of the 501st. We're an international costuming group, about 14, 15,000 strong all over the world, and uh, we're all about movie quality replica costumes. We do a lot of charity work, we visit kids in hospitals, we do uh, parades, movie premieres, all that stuff. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Make sure to check them out, guys, because the 501st Legion is some of the best cosplayers around. I actually know about them, been a huge fan of them for years, and it's great to be able to meet one of them today. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your con, and hopefully a rest of your life as well. Appreciate it, man. And hopefully you ain't missing any more of your shots. <laughs> one of these days I'm going to get one. <laughs> one of these days they'll get it. You guys have a good one. These are all badass. My man, keep it chill. Maybe hit the Zoloft, don't destroy the shift. I'll turn off. <laughs> oh, man. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. As always, here at Fatty on the Streets, we try to find the most interesting people that we can to interview every time we go out. And today, I think we found the most interesting person in the mall. Somebody let her take and uh, let us know who she is, what she does, and, well, what she loves best about coming out here. Thank you so much, Aerosol Fatty. I am Queen Geo Love of Kill City Cup. And we're here at Bangor Comic and Toy Convention, just spreading the good word for anybody that enjoys some pro wrestling or Mortal Kombat. This is the movie for you. I lord over the tournaments as they fight for their right for an opportunity at favors from Mr. Kill. So if you haven't checked it out yet, Kill City Cup, it's on YouTube, killcitycup.com, check it out. Thank you so much, Fatty, for coming by. Heck yeah, it's always a good time coming out to any convention. I figured Bangor had to be the best one. I mean, we're having a great time over here in Bangor Comic Con. Heck yeah, man. Well, it's called Bangor. I hope it's a banger of a time. It sure is a banger of a time out in Bangor. Heck yeah, well, I hope you continue to have yourself an amazing day. And I think at this point in time, we're going to keep moving along and keep it trucking on here in Fatty on the Streets. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Fatty on the Streets. And as always, we try to find the most interesting people out there and get interviews going. And this costume, my friend, is pretty interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and put the mic up to her and let her tell her a little about herself and her costume. Hi, I am Bastet. I am the cat goddess of Egyptian. And I am the goddess of love, fertility, protection, home, hearth. And that is, that is what we do. Heck yeah, heck yeah. So how long did it take you to set up the costume? Good solid two hours this morning. Oh my gosh, I could never imagine doing that myself. Well, it's one of those things where I cannot um, half ass my costumes. If I'm going to do something, it's going to get done all the way through. Well, you know what? Just being here and seeing it, you're telling the truth there. You go all out and you tell you, you put a lot of passion into it as well. I do. I love, I love my cosplaying. My daughter and I do this every year. We do this every year. She is there. hiding on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you having fun out here at the Comic Con? I'm having a great time. I am. So do you come out here yearly, or is this kind of one-off thing? Nope, I come yearly. We've been here for the last year and the year before, and we were supposed to go during COVID, but it, where it got canceled out. 
Yeah, yeah the, the big C, my man. That, 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 that kind of shut us all down for a bit. It shut us all down. Well, you know what? I bet it feels good to finally be able to get out here and just interact and be with the nerds again. Yeah, oh yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to argue that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for saying, taking some time to chat with us. It's a very interesting outfit, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. You too. <laughs> and that's Vanny's on the Street, people. Every day, all day. Ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy Shrugs, and we are here at the Bangor Main Comic Con. We're gonna walk around and see if we can find Fiona, or I should say Fionette. You can already see we got payday people here, and we got the puppy behind us. Let's go. Let's go looking for things to do. Thank you. If I knew me brother Shrek, I'd be Shrugs. I'd be Shrugs the old man. What would Shrugs want? Yeah, what does the swamp need? I think every swamp needs a couple of things. Let's look around for some things. So, yeah. so you got into cosplay? Ah, a little bit. I'm more uh, into YouTube. I mean, okay. like the YouTube atmosphere, comedy. Um, okay, in the crown. So we're we're both uh, rulers of our realm. You could say that. I'm more of a swamp guy, though. That's what it is. You might, you know, you might, you might know my brother Shrek. I might know your brother Shrek. Yes, he knows about him. Everybody knows about Shrek. Everybody knows about Shrek. You realize DreamWorks was supposed to do that movie with me. They dropped the contract with that. That makes so much sense. I dropped 25% for that. And they wanted to give me 12. I can't believe it. How oh, dare they? Up. Well, look, we gotta keep moving and looking for stuff for the swamp. You take it easy. And if you, you ever want to swing time. by, Thank you for it's stopping just all the way in a far, me. far away place. I'll see you soon. There he is. Let's keep it moving, people. Yup, 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 yup. Yop. Yop, yop. Yop. Ah, I love the yops. <laughs> did you paint that on or? I did. did. You... Oh, it's oh, you did? Really? I see you on fish tank. <laughs> oh shit, the first person that's recognized me for fish tank. <laughs> yeah, first off that. <laughs> My friends told me to be on the lookout for you when they realized you should be here. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> well, we came out to tell you. We wanted to do something fun. And I bet the microphone's getting a lot of that f -f 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 sound because we're trying to keep these up because I've lost so much freaking weight. Can I actually take a picture with you? Like a Fuck yourself? yeah! Fuck yeah, dude. Why the hell Did you want to take it for me? Yeah, awesome. Know. Thank you so How much. How long did it take you to paint it? Oh, so, like a half hour. Literally? Wow! Yeah, I just, uh, thank you so much. And thank you for yourself, Patty. Always, man. Always. Always. Sure. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Fatty on the Streets. And today we found another person to come to and talk with an interview. And today we got someone here who owns Old Bills. Or excuse me, Old Wow Bills Soda. I should remember that, considering back where I'm from, there's actually a tobacco shop off all bills. That being said, I'm gonna let this man introduce himself and tell us a little about what he does. This guy's crazy. My name is Kurt. I own uh, Wild Bill's Old Fashioned Soda. We're here at Bangor Comic Con in wonderful northern Bangor, Maine. Okay, nice long trip here. We sell stainless steel mugs with unlimited soda uh, for the day, old fashioned flavors, things like root beer, sarsaparilla, birch beer. 
uh, vanilla cream, black cherry, we even got an old fashioned lemonade that's carbonated. Okay, uh, we do events all over the country. This weekend we're also in New York City for New York Comic Con. We do San Diego Comic Con. We do all the Comic Cons as well as all your great country fairs and other things. But you gotta tell me about you guys. What do you wanna know about Wild Bills? Uh, well, what got you started in the business? I saw this really cool idea at a rib fest, if you can imagine, about nine years ago in Troy, New York, okay? Looked at it, talked to a couple people, said, huh, that makes money. I said, I think I'm gonna do that. Put a lot of money into it. Today I have five stands. I travel all over the all over New England. This is all I do now for the last uh, seven years. That's badass, making money, doing what you love, and getting that bag. Am I right? We try, we try. You American got a favorite dream. flavor? Huh? You got a favorite flavor? My favorite flavor, if you can believe it, is actually the carbonated lemonade. Mm, I'm with you on that one. I've been, I've been sipping on that today. That's been real good. We about to do a nice little review with it too. Good, good. Yeah, heck yeah. So, uh, you got any messages for anyone back home? Uh, any kind of inspiration for them? Back home, back home. I don't know. Back, back in my home or back at your home? Back out, back everyone's home there. You know what? It's football season. Everyone, let's go enjoy football on these weekends and do some family cooking. Okay, get the roast in the oven on a Sunday. Okay, mashed potatoes, turkeys going. Okay, bake some cookies, bake some other pies, bake whatever. This is the time to enjoy food with the family. This man knows exactly what's up this time of year. Well, thank you, my man, for giving us some of your time. And we'll, we'll let you get back to making all them pennies and dimes, man. We try. Unbelievable. That is the perfect pour. Suds never go over. It always looks good. Is the mic still on? It is on. That being said, we're gonna go ahead and give this bad boy a big old sip and see how it tastes. Oh my gosh, darn dolly, darn nang nabbit, Jiminy Cricket the third. That is actually really, really good. Like I have not had a lemonade that good in a long time. It's just the right amount of sweetness with that lemony kind of bitterness to it. And then the carbonation makes it taste like summer in the fall. That being said, and this place is getting a solid 10 out of 10 from me. Especially with the fact you actually get to keep what you drink out of instead of the McDonald's paper cup. I prefer it. And so, you guys happen to see these guys, go pick yourself up a mug, get yourself some good drink. As for me, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this and uh, get ready to end off my day. Y'all keep it easy, keep it chill, keep it real thrilled, and have your guys a nice day. And I'm shrugs. Got it to me. Her one went right in the neck with a fuck yesterday. I recognize, I, rec I recognize the lettering as soon as I saw it. <laughs> it's good. You're still doing that demon, bro. Cause I'm so far, so far into the cold shit that, that when I picked it up, looked at it closely, I was actually able to read the writing. Yep. Hey friend, interview. You need to interview someone. I don't want to interview someone. I don't want to interview someone. I don't want to interview someone. Well, I got pulled over. I wasn't getting pulled over. I was leaving my house and they were all the cops were watching a neighbor. Oh, yeah. So they were like, oh, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Fatty on the Streets. And well, we got one of those rare opportunities we have where not only can we go to an event that we can enjoy, but we get to meet one of the guys hosting the event. So, I'm gonna let my man introduce himself and tell us a little about what he does here. My name is Will. I am one of the co-owners along with Jay for the Bangor Comic and Toy Con. Hell yeah, hell yeah. 
So uh, what got you into doing cons like this? I uh, used, me and Jay actually used to play music uh, a long time ago, uh, and our band started uh, playing a thing called Friday Night Live, and I we came and played this, and I just got hooked. Came in as a volunteer, fell in love with it, and uh, now here we are running this and another show down in Portland as well. Heck yeah, heck yeah. How long you guys been doing this for? Uh, this is our fourth Bangor Comic and Toy Con, so uh, next year will be year five, and we're hoping to go nice and big for that one. Heck yeah, maybe get some fireworks, set up a nice evening show. Hell yeah, let's do it. As long Hell as you're yeah. going to be there, we'll bring the fireworks. Oh, I definitely am going to have to make sure I'm there. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So have you ever, uh, have you had any specific, uh, I don't know, specific costumes you've loved seeing out on the floor the most? Oh man, there's been so many. Uh, there's a really cool Pennywise uh, out back over here. Yours is amazing. Uh, we had a, uh, a girl dressed up as like a little pale girl uh, from Terrifier. Creepy as hell. Uh, but there's been a lot of really cool ones out there. People put a lot of effort into it, so it's really cool to see them, uh, you know, see like their passion for what they're doing out here. Okay, heck yeah. Do you, uh, out of all your celebrity guests you've had, is there anyone that's left like an impact on you? Someone that's like, you just can't stop thinking about that moment? Yeah, man, uh, for me, Sid Haig. Uh, I've got a giant tattoo of Sid Haig on my back leg. Uh, I'm a huge horror fan. I uh, loved his movies, and we were one of the last conventions uh, he, had, he got to do before he passed away. So just like, I remember we sat down one morning to have breakfast with him, and he had like the most power move in the world. He ended up like getting cranberry juice and Fruit Loops, and put the cranberry juice in his Fruit Loops. And I was like, I want to talk to you guys. And then just sat there and stared us down while he ate his Cheerios or his cereal. And then finally was like, I love you guys. Thank you for having me. But like the most freaking like sweating, like, oh my God, we're like, we, we pissed him off. What the hell did we do? Like, this guy's going to be mad at us. And he was so chill. <laughs> that has got to be, that That sounds like quite a memorable moment there. Well, hey, man, I won't take up too much of your time. I know really said you had to get, get to take care of a few things. I appreciate you giving us some of your time, especially some of the hosts kind of thing. I know this is quite a busy and kind of thing to have go on. Uh, thank you for your time, and hopefully next year, we can link back up and uh, have yeah. more good times and good memories. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me, Fatty, and thank you guys for being here. Heck yeah, it's been a great time, and hopefully we'll see each other again. Yes, sir. Heck yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Shrugs coming at you live from the Cross Insurance Stadium. This place has honestly been one of the better experiences I've had going to events like this, and I've been to at least three. That being said, this has been quite an amazing trip. You see, a friend of mine, Chris, came here day one, took care of a few things, got himself some nice stuff for the house, a little, uh, how you say, uh, decoration. I got my, I, I got myself a little cool night today, nothing crazy, but nice. I got my buddy a little something as well. Uh, that being said, uh, would he come back? Hell yes. This is definitely something I could see myself doing every time. As I am Shrugs the Ogre. And I've gone overboard. And you know what? Quite happy doing so. This has been quite a nice experience. It feels just at home, just like in the swamp. And I can't wait for next year. Hopefully next year we'll have a little bit better for cosplay. And if not, well, we'll have fun. Never. We'll have fun either way. That being said, this has been your boy Shrugs. This has been Bangor Mains Comic Con and Toy Fest. And I am very green. My goggles are foggy. And I could use tons and tons of hugs. For I am Shrugs, not Shrek, not that annoying green prick who's not even an ogre. Shrugs, the motherfucking ogre. And nothing else.